Who has not uh, done the workflow, added it to their desktop yet? Okay, you haven't? Okay, perfect. So this is good. So if you go here, uh, you'll see there's the tools menu, there's the docs menu where you keep all the stuff you've created, but go right, right to the one in the middle, it says guides, okay? And from the guides, you'll see here at this bottom uh, of the menu there, now on the app it doesn't have this little thing, so it's a little weirder, but uh, I already walked Tim through this late, earlier, so he's okay. But where it says workflows right there, just click that workflow. Now the nice part about this is that this is actually, you can see there's a lot of users that have all uh, created uh, different workflows for different purposes. Uh, they have all named the different things. My, some are just personal that they made public. Doug's workflow, I don't know what Doug's workflow is. But, um, but if you go here to filter, and if you just type in Miller, my last name, you'll see J.R. Miller comes up and if you click that you'll see that there is a uh, the workflow is right here so you just click on that to highlight it and then up at the top now mine says uh, it says uh, add to docs right there so if you click that add to docs right above there you should then that that's all it really is to add it to your workflow or to your desktop. So once you've done that, you should be able to go back to guides. And if you go down, there's things as custom workflows. You should see that right there.